Hey guys, Nas here with another video. In this video, I'll be going over how to play Samurai. You have to play Ronin first to unlock Samurai, so I won't be going over the basics, but instead cover what is exclusive to Samurai. If you unlock Samurai but still feel inexperienced, then I suggest checking out my informative Ronin guide. It'll be in the cards on the top right and the description. With that out the way, let's get into this, yeah? Samurai's unique job action is Meikyo Shishui. This gives us a buff which enhances our MP recovery from normal attacks. And now we get back MP from parrying! If you're not good at parrying, then have no fear, as Meikyo Shishui Mastery makes it easier for you to parry as long as you keep up the buff. You'll also get a 17% damage increase from parrying, and if you use an ability right after you parry, you will restore MP based on the damage you dealt with Way of the Blade. As you can see, Samurai revolves heavily around you parrying, so if that is your playstyle, then this job rewards you immensely. Once you get further in the game and get 400 affinity for Samurai, you will critically hit your next ability 100% of the time after a parry. Just something for you to look forward to, but do keep in mind Meikyo Shishui does get removed if you get hit, so master your enemies and decimate them. Okay, now that we covered the playstyle of Samurai, let's go over its unique command and katana abilities, shall we? Sanshin is Samurai's command. This reduces MP cost by 30% for our combo abilities. Yuki Kimori is our earliest ability combo. It performs the same as Oka from Ronin but comes out earlier. Be aware of your surrounding when using this ability for its maximum potential. Suki Cage is a very powerful ability but it has a bit of a wind up. If you're fighting an agile enemy, I recommend not using this ability since it'll whiff and you'll lose 2 MP. Outside of that, this ability does amazing damage. Hana Arashi is our longest ability combo but it's worth the build up. Not only does this do tremendous damage, but if it kills or breaks an enemy, then they will soul burst, thanks to Ambitious Edge. Now that we've gone over Samurai's abilities, let's go over to the gearing process. All your abilities scale off the strength, so you want as much strength as possible. Katanas do slashing damage, so increasing that is also beneficial. Here's a bunch of other traits you want to look out for. If this video brought you value, please leave a like and consider subscribing to see more gameplay, guides, and tips and tricks. Until then, I'll see ya.